Suspended above the blue curve of Earth, the James Webb Space Telescope unfurls its golden mirrors, an audacious machine staring into the abyss of time. Tonight, it pierces the darkness and reveals a cosmic secret that will shake the foundations of what we know. It spotted a galaxy so ancient so unusual that it's forcing us to rethink what we thought we knew about the early universe. This discovery could change everything but to see why, let's rewind. Not all the way back to the beginning but just to 2022. Back then the farthest galaxy we had ever seen was GNZ 11 discovered by the Hubble Space Telescope. It was a huge milestone. With its 2.4 meter mirror and cutting edge optics, Hubble had pushed our vision deep into the cosmos. But even its power had limits. Then came JWS. With its massive 6.5 meter mirror, designed specifically to detect infrared light, the kind that ancient galaxies emit. Where Hubble had hinted at the edges of the early universe, Webb shattered the boundaries. In one of its first deep space campaigns Webb spotted Jade's GSZ-130, a galaxy with a redshift of 13.2, soon followed by Jade's GSZ-140 with a confirmed redshift of 14.32. Redshift, to put it simply, is how much a galaxy's light has stretched over time as the universe expands. The higher the redshift, the older the light, and the deeper into time we're looking. But then came MAM-Z-14, with a redshift of 14.44, pushing the record even further back. But it wasn't just how far away it was. What shocked astronomers was what they saw. This galaxy is incredibly compact, just about 500 light years across. To compare, our Milky Way is over 100,000 light years wide. And yet, MAM-Z-14 is astonishingly bright, packed with newly forming stars. It's a cosmic nursery, a star factory blazing at a time when the universe was still a baby. Even stranger, it shows no signs of a supermassive black hole, a feature commonly found in galaxies with such intense star formation. These black holes are thought to be critical to a galaxy's growth and structure. But here, in MAM-Z14, there's nothing. And the surprises kept coming. When scientists analyzed its light using JWST's spectrograph, they discovered the galaxy was rich in nitrogen, a chemical signature we typically see in old star clusters near our own galaxy. That suggests something profound. Multiple generations of stars had already come and gone before this galaxy formed. That's way earlier than we ever expected. According to previous models, early galaxies should be simple, mostly hydrogen and helium, the building blocks of the universe. But MAMZ14 is telling a different story. It's chemically evolved, complex and alive with activity. Which leads to the big question. How many more galaxies like this are out there? Before JWS, we thought galaxies from this era would be extremely rare. Now, they're appearing all over web surveys. Small, bright, distant objects that astronomers have started calling little red dots. MAMZ14 may hold the record for now, but probably not for long. And that's what makes this so thrilling. And so disruptive. Each new discovery isn't just another dot on a chart. It's a blow to our assumptions. If galaxies like MAMZ14 formed faster, lit up brighter, and became chemically complex sooner than we thought possible, what else are we wrong about? In short, yes, this challenges our models of the early universe. Those models predicted that galaxies would grow slowly, evolve gradually, and remain chemically simple for a long time, but this galaxy is none of that. It's fast, it's dense, it's messy, it's alive. That doesn't mean our science is wrong, but it is clearly incomplete. MAMZ14 is a message from the dawn of time, telling us that the early universe may have been far more dynamic and chaotic than we imagined. And this is only the beginning. Later this decade, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will join JWS in surveying the cosmos. Roman will cover enormous sections of the sky in great detail, perfectly complementing Webb's ultra-deep vision. Together they could find hundreds, maybe thousands of galaxies like MAMZ14, each one a relic of a forgotten era. But for now, MAMZ14 stands as a milestone, a pinprick of light from a universe still in its infancy, when the first galaxies were just beginning to form, yet the more we look the more the universe defies our expectations. In fact, some scientists are going even further, proposing that our entire universe might exist inside a black hole. Others are studying a new strange phenomenon, the majority of galaxies observed by JWST seem to rotate in the same direction. That's not supposed to happen in a randomly distributed universe. Could we be seeing a pattern where there should be chaos? As new data continues to pour in, the questions are getting bigger, and the answers more elusive. But one thing is clear, 
The cosmos is not done surprising us. Something strange is happening in our universe. Galaxies aren't spinning the way we expected them to. According to a new study, their rotation directions aren't randomly distributed as our current models predict. In a truly random universe, you'd expect an even split, about half spinning clockwise, half counterclockwise, but that's not what we're seeing. This unexpected imbalance is more than just a statistical oddity, it might be a clue, a hint that our entire universe could be something far more bizarre than we ever imagined, it might be inside a black hole. To understand this possibility we need to explore what happens when matter collapses under gravity. When enough matter packs together, it forms a black hole. At the boundary of that black hole is the event horizon, a one-way wall beyond which nothing, not even light, can return. What happens inside that horizon is still one of the great unsolved mysteries in physics. This is where black hole cosmology, also known as Schwarzschild cosmology, enters the picture. It proposes something radical, that what we see as our universe is actually the inside of a black hole in some larger, parent universe. Now think about the Big Bang. Our standard model says the universe began as a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature. But what if that singularity wasn't the beginning of everything but the result of something else collapsing? What if the Big Bang was really the moment that matter in a larger universe collapsed into a black hole, creating our universe within it? This idea doesn't just explain how our universe began, it opens up the possibility that every black hole in our cosmos might be the seed of a new universe. A kind of cosmic reproduction. It might also help explain why the fundamental constants of physics, the numbers that govern everything from the strength of gravity to how atoms interact, seem perfectly tuned for life. Universes born inside black holes that don't have the right conditions might collapse quickly, but the ones that do, they persist, they evolve, they multiply. There's another layer to this theory, torsion. In extended versions of Einstein's general relativity like the Einstein-Carton theory, space-time can twist. This twist, or torsion, is linked to the spin of elementary particles. At extremely high densities, such as inside a black hole, torsion could become significant, possibly generating a repulsive force that prevents the formation of a singularity altogether. If true, then instead of collapsing into a point, the core of a black hole could bounce, a kind of cosmic recoil creating a new expanding region of space, a new universe. That recoil? It might be what we call the Big Bang. Not a mysterious explosion from nothing but a rebound from something. The death of one universe birthing the next in an endless cycle of cosmic rebirths. It's a mind-bending idea, but it might also help solve some of the puzzles we're currently facing. For instance, observations suggest the universe may have a preferred direction, a cosmic axis, along which structures like galaxies and galaxy clusters seem to align. That shouldn't happen in a universe that's isotropic, equal in all directions. But if our universe was spun into being from a rotating black hole, that axis could be a leftover signature of its origin. And then there's another mystery, the existence of enormous, mature galaxies far too early in the universe's timeline. These galaxies shouldn't have had enough time to form, and yet, they're there, billions of light years away, already massive, already complex. The black hole universe model might help explain that too. If cosmic time inside a black hole unfolds differently, if the flow of time is warped, it could lead to faster development of structure than our models predict. Still not every scientist is ready to embrace such a radical shift. There's a chance that some of these puzzling findings, like uneven galactic rotations or early massive galaxies, could be the result of miscalculations. Maybe we've misunderstood how fast the Milky Way spins, or maybe our instruments need more calibration. But even if these are measurement errors, one thing is clear. The universe is not as simple as we once believed. Each new discovery, each anomaly is a crack in the surface of our current understanding, inviting us to look deeper, to ask bigger questions and maybe to accept stranger answers. So what do you think? Are we living inside a black hole? Is the universe part of a larger cosmic cycle, forever collapsing and rebirthing itself? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're as fascinated by the universe as we are, don't forget to subscribe